The Up theme is one of my favourite Disney themes of all time, so for a long time I've been wanting to cover it in some way or form. But it'd be far too easy to just sit there and play the theme song, so I thought I have to play this in the style of Up. Now, I tried attaching lots of little balloons to my piano. Unfortunately that did not work. So then I thought, well if I can't do lots of little balloons, what is the next best thing? Well of course, that'd be one big balloon. Okay, let's go. Hi, Joe. Hi, so we should be doing an intro. <laughs> it took longer than I thought. Hopefully not, we're hoping to take that in the basket. I was going to take this. You're in that basket over there. Oh, <laughs> see, that is a lot smaller, isn't it? Yeah. Go. How close are we? Close. Close, close, close. Now, amongst all this chaos was, believe it or not, more than a year's worth of planning. I know, it doesn't look like it, but you can't just put a piano in a hot air balloon and hope for the best. You have to think about all sorts of things, like making sure it's not too heavy, making sure it passes safety regulations, making sure there's enough room left for me to play it, and enough room for the pilot, and for the gas cylinders. And most importantly, the piano has to actually fit in the basket to begin with. This is my piano. It is very, very small for a piano. It's a bit smaller than usual. It's the same size as always, actually. What? It looks bigger in the video, so I don't know why. This is I'm small, so I am. Right, so it's a scale thing. In fact, from what I can tell, it's the smallest type of piano to have been manufactured any time in the last 80 years. So I do have a pretty good head to start with this, but now I just need to find a basket which it'll fit in. I'm outside Cameron Balloons, who are the world's biggest manufacturers of hot air balloons. So if there is gonna be a basket big enough to fit the piano, I'm gonna find it here. Um, I've got my measuring tape with me. Pretty much every hot air balloon operator in the entire country will use a basket made by these guys. So fingers crossed they have one. They didn't have one. There are some really big ones, but the problem with the big ones is they all have partitions in them. None of those partitions are big enough to actually fit a piano. The biggest one was two centimeters off, which is so annoying. But my piano is not gonna fit in those baskets, or those baskets are not gonna fit my piano. So I've got to work out what to do. I don't know what it is. It's very annoying. Now at this point I had two pretty clear options. Option one, instead of using an acoustic piano, just use a small electric piano instead, which would easily fit in any hot air balloon basket and would solve the problem within a matter of minutes. Or option two, open Facebook Marketplace, set the search radius to the entire UK, scroll, keep scrolling, continue to scroll for four hours until finally I find a piano a tiny bit smaller than my one, which maybe, just maybe, might fit. Yeah, it's gonna need some work. Ask for dimensions, check the dimensions with Pete. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Pete, he's gonna be the pilot. I'm just the maddest. We, we will become best mates. <laughs> right, I can assure you. It will fit. Now all we have to do is drive halfway across the country to go and pick up the piano, take it back, create an elaborate system to weigh it, double check the weight with Pete. In the meantime, clear up all the gunk from inside the piano, which has probably been accumulating for the last hundred years, fix all the broken keys and get the go ahead from Pete. Yeah, I chose option two, by the way. So we made it last! After all this time, finally, and fingers crossed, it will actually this work. Gonna fit. It's gonna fit, yeah. Inside we've got cylinders and a burner that need to come out. Oh my god, so do we need all these cylinders? In no. The well, no we don't. When we fly, we can fly with just two. These come out, the piano would sit there. Right, okay, that's, well, that's not as much space as I expected. That it, well, yeah. this is as big as it gets. So it is gonna be a tight squeeze, but... It is, right, yeah. It needs room for the piano plus me. I didn't realize the cylinders were going to be this big. I thought it was going to be like the size of this. So realistically, you put up the piano there, you're sat there. Yeah. He's in one of these corners. Yeah. Oh no, wait. He's he's, right he's, he's right behind me. It could work. At this point, I was convinced it was not going to work. I'd spent so long stressing about the dimensions of the piano that I hadn't even thought about the fact we need gas cylinders as well to actually be able to go anywhere. And when I saw them for the first time, they were way bigger than I'd expected. So it just felt to me like there was not going to be any room left for both me and Pete. Luckily though, Pete kept spirits high with the optimism the rest of us needed. What are you thinking, Pete? <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to work. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Social distancing, eh? <laughs> yeah, right? There okay. We are. <laughs> you see what I mean? You're, I mean... Uh, this, is, this is not ideal. No, unfortunately. 
like a 10k bonus. It's not ideal, but it's, it will, it'll work, won't it? It'll definitely work. It's not really that ideal playing a piano in a balloon. No. So I was wrong. There was room for both of us, but it was very, very uncomfortable and even just an inch more room would have made the biggest difference. So of course I did what any sane person would do and took a router to the piano. And after a quick seconds test fitting. But that is just the corner so I use it for it. Check it out. <laughs> and some more final adjustments. We were ready to go. What you've just seen is six minutes worth of build up to this day. But for me, this was one and a half years worth of build up, and it was something I'd been looking forward to the whole time. And maybe I'm just saying this because I desperately need to change the mood of the video from angrily destroying a piano to a peaceful Disney song, but it's times like these which make me realise just how lucky I am to be able to do stuff like this for a living. So I just want to say a massive thank you all for the support throughout the years. I'm just glad that I managed to make it work in the end, even if it meant playing it on the worst piano in the country. If you ever need a balloon flight in Bristol, Pete is your guy, his website is on screen and in the description. I'm experimenting with something new this time, I've recorded a version of this cover on a slightly nicer piano than that one and uploaded it to Spotify, which is what you're listening to now, so if you want to hear a slightly better version of this cover, go and check that out. This is an experiment for me, so if it gets a lot of support, that will let me know that I should upload more covers to Spotify in the future. But other than that, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, I had an absolute blast making it. If you did, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribed, we're on that journey to 4 million subscribers. But thank you very much for watching and goodbye.